right, folks. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I want to talk today about a segment on The View where the hosts practically get on their knees to run cover for Joe Biden not acknowledging his youngest grandchild, the daughter of Hunter Biden and a former stripper. Now, at this point, Joe Biden and his team and, and his official biography say that he has six grandchildren when, in fact, he has seven grandchildren. So I'm going to play the clip and then we'll talk a little bit about it. Maureen down to find something else to write about. Yeah, they write about something else. I mean, they I, are. I, 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 I'm sorry. You know, these things are, for me, when you start talking about people's families and what yeah. they're doing, it's, I, I find it unnecessary. This is not anybody's business. Nobody needed to know about this. No. This is private. And I know people feel like you need to know everything. I'm sorry, you don't. You need to know not almost anything about people. <laughs> but I do but feel like if it was Trump, we would talk about it as a thing. If Trump had a grandkid, he wasn't acknowledged. We all he talk probably about does. He didn't acknowledge Tiffany very well. I, 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 I will like, say, I will say, you know, when they are grown kids, you can talk about it. Yeah. But this is a baby. It's a baby. This is, she has no business doing She has made this a problem. Not Hunter, not this woman. She's made it a problem. they settled it. Okay, so that was the host from The View. Like I said, running cover for Joe Biden. Of course, if this was Donald Trump and one of his sons had a child with a stripper that they failed to acknowledge, they would be talking about it all the time and they would be giving him a hard time for it. So this whole idea that, oh, it's it's somebody's family and they're off limits and she's a baby, so we can't talk about it is just crap. Okay? And we know that. So the fact that that they're, they're even going out of their way here uh, because they could just not talk about it, that would be an option. At least, at least to their credit, the, the New York Times uh, actually ran this op-ed from Maureen Dowd, uh, basically criticizing Joe Biden for not acknowledging his granddaughter. And the fact that she is a baby makes it even worse because she hasn't, you know, she has she has no culpability here. She hasn't she hasn't done anything. She hasn't hurt anybody. She didn't ask to be brought into this situation, and. Whatever you think about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden, that's her father. That's her grandfather. Not just any grandfather, but the president of the United States, unfortunately. And one day, she's going to be old enough to know that her father did not want her to have the Biden last name and that her grandfather did not even acknowledge her existence. Now, maybe at some point he will. I don't know. Maybe he won't. But someday she's going to be old enough to know that he didn't want to acknowledge her, which is not going to be a good thing for her to learn. So these hosts on The View, oh, talk about something else, or, you know, these, these kids are off limits. Nobody's criticizing the kid. The, the criticism is directed at Joe Biden. That's all it is. You know, nobody's, nobody's criticizing the kid because she's just a kid. She has, she, has, she has no idea at this point um, what's going on or, or has any, like I said, any, any culpability or, or any uh, responsibility for any of this. And, you know, you, you have the one uh, token Republican on The View that says, oh, well, if this was Trump, you know, we'd be talking about it. Well, of course they would. Of course they would. Of course it, it would. It would be, it would be an indication of uh, Donald Trump's character and, and his lack of leadership and so forth. But with Joe Biden, oh, it's nobody's business. Not a big deal. And you know, some people have asked me why, why even cover the view? Why even talk about it? Well, it's still a show on the mainstream media that has millions of viewers. So it's still, unfortunately continues to have a certain amount of influence over some people. So hopefully soon, one day, this, this show will be history and it'll be off the air, but that's not the case yet. And 
it needs to be rebutted. It, it, it needs to be called out. It needs to be pointed out. So, anyways, let me know what you all think. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.